Hi friends. So I want to share with you this technique that I came upon. And um, before I show you the technique, I want to um, share with you some tips um, about it. This technique is nothing new as, as far as, you know, painting it and um, creating art because there's a lot of textile artists out there. But uh, to create this particular piece, I've tried all kinds of um, paints, watercolors, and uh, I put it on the um, bond, ironed it down, and then peeled it back. And uh, it didn't give me the background that I was looking for as far as with just the first application of uh, putting down your inks. So I know by trial and error that uh, those um, types of paint don't work. And uh, these are the strips that I was using. These can all be reused. All these pieces can be re -adhesed. The adhesive and be uh, rebonded down. Here's one where I used fabric. Love will keep us together. And so using this uh, with the uh, uh, distress oxides and also the um, stain, you can, and you use fabric pins, you can write on it. And then you can add that to your art piece. So that was good to know. And, um, but as far as making the transfer like this, it doesn't work. These pieces here are really cool to make, and I'm going to show you how to do that. That's made with the, uh, the Stress Oxide sprays. And, uh, Oh, and I tried the, uh, I knew it wasn't going to work, but I needed to try it, because if I didn't try it, how would I know 100%? So I tried the alcohol inks, and no, nothing there. But it does got a texture, and that's, that's beautiful, because I'll just take this off and use this card. This, nothing I can do with it, or oh, I have to chalk it as waste. There's a failure on that, but I needed to do it because... I wanted to try the different paints, find out which one would do this technique I call bloom. So on this one here, it's been sitting like this for a couple of days. I haven't peeled it back. But uh, if everything is uh, the way it should be, then that would look similar to this. And then I'm going to be able to use it again. That's how I got this piece right here. In the in the earlier frame, you'll see that this was an empty space. And uh, I took the piece, I put it back over, put the colors back down like I had over here that I could remember, and uh, started the process all over, and I was able to repeat it and fill that space. So... Um, these craft bonds, interfacings, can be used over and over. Here where you strip them down and then you can go ahead and put them on your card or whatever and then bond it that way. So these all, all these used pieces here can be reused over. You can also put them in your art piece. They still have adhesive on them still yet a little and if if they don't then you can always use your you can always use your under under transfer web to make it stick. Now the reason why I stain my web is see I work on white cardstock and if I didn't I wouldn't be able to see that. So I just use this stain while it's still attached to the paper backing. And then I can get color at it, and I can then see my art piece. The tie back here, you notice 
I put heat on it but it didn't shrivel up because it's been pressed down with the webbing so it's in place and then um, I did use an iron but I also used a uh, soldering iron as well to create those cool holes that you see and added some of that Angelina fiber and some gold foil and some fantasy film and just and, you know I think there's some material right under here so that's uh, building up layers so rather than use the uh, deoxide sprays because I have this little work box I can reactivate it so I'm just gonna so I'm just gonna go ahead and spray right here in this corner and then I'll take the web wand and put it down on it and then I just need to let the bonding web dry but just with the uh, spray that's on the box you get some pretty cool patterns I'm going to come back over here and get some of this blue Wrap it in like this, and then that'll give you some cool patterns. Let's take a look. So that's the start of something pretty. You can drag it, put that aside, and let that dry. But that's how I get this. So this webbing here that I'm using is a Bellin Craft Bond 6040, which is polyester rayon. And uh, you can color it first. This, what I'm sharing is just to inspire you like I've been inspired by other artisans. And, uh, and I just wanted to share this technique. I don't believe you'll find it anywhere else because it's something that I, um, Eat it myself by accident and uh, I'm so I'm happy to share with you before we go into the workshop I do want to share with you some of the uh, projects that I'm creating using that bloom technique I've gone ahead with the background and put it on an ATC card and um, this is just some of the working progress these are all the bloom technique and um, this is how I'm going to layer it with art and I need to put the saying down and finish it but that's what I'm working on and then I turn that other art piece that I showed you in the earlier video into a two supers like that that I did in fact, I have an announcement about ATC cards that I'll share in another video. And uh, I hope I get some participation from it. That's all I'll say. So without further ado, let's go in my workshop and let's go ahead and make some balloons.